Hi, Long Range Hunting. Welcome to episode six of our comparison between hunting bullets and match bullets for terminal ballistics. Now, today we are talking about dynamic research technology or DRT. This was sent to me by a friend. These are 175 grain match projectiles. Now, due to a miscommunication, I got sent the wrong bullets. So they have one called Terminal Shock, which is a full copper fragmentation match bullet that's supposed to compete for the bullets used in places like California where they have no common sense. Now, <clears throat> I got sent their match bullet and I found some very interesting results. Now this shot was out of a 308, with a 175 grain bullet. Um, impact velocity was 2,086 feet per second at 300 yards. And something weird I noticed, this is a great example of you know, I talk all the time about match bullets and how great they are. But just like hunting bullets, there's good ones and there's bad ones. Um, it, it's just as simple as that. And this is an example of one I would consider bad. Not only the construction of it. I haven't done as far as accuracy external ballistics. You know, I've only shot it a few times. And that happened to be for just the gel testing. So I can't attest to how it flies as far as, a, you know, just a target bullet. As far as hunting, based off the construction and everything, I, it's just not something I would feel comfortable recommending. Um, for one, as you can see, there is a penetrator almost. And this separated from the jacket, um, I'm not sure. I think it's aluminum by the build. It's some kind of harder metal and it's similar to what I see with 50 caliber AP rounds, armor piercing. It's got a jacket and then it's got a penetrator inside of a harder metal. Um, I mean, it, you can see the line when we watch the actual footage um, in slow-mo, but it blows through, you know, a good three... before even stopping and there's just, you lose a little bit of jacket, you have, you know, a wound cavity that honestly was beaten by an ELD match at 1,370 feet per second and this is just under 2,100 feet per second. I'm honestly not that impressed. I still need to try their terminal shock one, the fragmentation. Um, from what Aaron says, there it's probably the best option out there for lead free uh it does a lot better performance versus the barns you know triple shocks etc um but quite honestly a little bit disappointing um i was expecting a lot more of course it would help if i got the correct bullet um but this is just a prime example that just because we preach match bullets doesn't mean we preach every match bullet um i'm gonna let you watch the footage real quick of the uh the gel test Again, this is set up for a white tail. We have hide, we have meat, 10 inches of vitals. Um, and then you have, you know, this permanent wound cavity left. Now, as you can see, it really, it didn't create a large cavity. It zipped right through, um, <clears throat> you know, 
we almost didn't catch this bullet. It penetrated so much gelatin. And those were extra pieces where I'd cut stuff off either to melt part of that block or when di dissecting or pulling bullets. And so I used that extra gel as a catch um, because prior to that, just setting one block behind wasn't catching a lot of these projectiles after going through a deer setup. But, you know, the temporary wound cavity wasn't very impressive at all, um, especially for that velocity. And then you have the fact that the permanent wound cavity, the maximum, not the normal, the maximum width is an inch and a quarter at almost 2,100 feet per second. Now, did it still outperform the Barnes, the triple shock TSX? Yes. The Barnes is also going at over 2,300 feet per second impact velocity. So um just proof that they're not all great people you know and that's part of doing this testing is not only to show hunting bullets limitations because there's a lot um match bullets spank in general most match bullets are going to outperform in every facet um external ballistics and terminal ballistics than a hunting bullet there are some good hunting bullets out there. There's some hybrids that are designed more between hunting and, you know, a match bullet. But even those I found haven't been able to compete with the match bullets. But just as with hunting, you know, the marketed hunting bullets, you have your good and you have your bad. Um, as far as match goes, with this particular bullet, the 175 grain from DRT, uh, it's just their match, you know, boat tail hollow point. I'm not impressed. It, I would classify it as a bad match bullet for terminal ballistics. So, um, I know this is short and sweet, but there's really just not a lot to say about it. Um, it just really wasn't impressive to be honest. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope this has been helpful. Happy hunting. that hard people hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you won't miss out on any future video and happy hunting